Prince Louis looked uncharacteristically shy when he joined his older siblings and the rest of the royal family at their annual Christmas Day church service. Making his festive debut, little Louis walked into St. Mary Magdalene Church in Sandringham hand-in-hand -hand with his proud parents, the Prince and Princess of Wales. But some fans were left puzzled as to why the four-year-old was wearing shorts in the chilly December temperatures, especially as his big brother George was wearing trousers. It turns out William and Kate's outfit choice was down to a very upper-class tradition which dates back centuries. Etiquette expert William Hansen has previously told Harper's Bazaar that royal boys are normally dressed in shorts for formal occasions until their eighth birthday. He explains, trousers are for older boys and men, whereas shorts on young boys is one of those silent class markers that we have in England. Although times are, slowly, changing, a pair of trousers on a young boy is considered quite middle class, quite suburban. And no self-respecting aristo or royal would want to be considered suburban. Lewis isn't the only one and most royal men donned shorts when they were younger. George wore them to pretty much every royal engagement for the first years of his life, but he's now nine which means he's been upgraded to trousers. King Charles led his family into the church as they navigated their first festive season without the late queen. As well as the Wales family, he was joined by Queen Camilla, Zara and Mike Tyndall, Edward and Sophie Wessex with Lady Louise Windsor and James, Viscount Severn as well as Princess Beatrice, her husband Eduardo Mapelli Mazzi and his son Wolfie. Disgraced Prince Andrew also made an unexpected appearance at the religious event, seen alongside his youngest daughter Princess Eugenie and her husband Jack Brooksbank. Prince Louis stole the show at the Platinum Jubilee celebrations in June, however he was more reserved at last week's festive event. At one point, he was seen tugging his mum Kate's hand as she chatted to well-wishers, seemingly keen to get back to their Sandringham estate for more Christmas excitement. But body language expert Judy James claims she spotted a very sweet moment when the youngest appeared to comfort his grandmother, Camilla. Speaking to the mirror, Judy told how Camilla's body language often seems quite tense and nervous when she is in public and December 25th was no exception to this. Camilla's body language signals suggest she is often in a state of tension or nervousness in public, she explained. When the royals emerged from the church Charles appeared to be in high spirits, pointing to and laughing with the clergy but leaving Camilla trailing in his wake.